This is the first restaurant we went to when I first moved not, here. Not first. Yes, it is. No, no, no. Not here. Mm, he doesn't you remember. Don't you don't remember. Nice. Oh, so I choose one unlimited pizza and you also get unlimited drink about. Okay. You so don't want to eat any more. Huh? Drink, okay. drink. You so want to eat more? Huh? They'll keep bringing us. Oh, yeah, yeah. They'll, yeah, put keep, there, put. they'll keep bringing us pizza unless we flip this over. Okay. Like, oh, like, side how I. Oh, you pour? You, you usually like to pour a lot of foam. <laughs> uh, Hello. Yeah. Mm. It's right, pizza. <laughs> Fish egg. We'll put some Tabasco. Habanero. Do you like it? Oh, it tastes good with the Tabasco pepper sauce. Seafood pizza. Seafood. Better than Domino's. Yeah. yeah. This must be coffee and jelly and cream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is this? Purin, maybe? Is it Purin or Agar Agar? Now back in 1954, I awoke from a dream hearing these words. You do not move in waking any more than you move on your bed in sleep. It is all a movement of mind. The intensity is determined by the strength of the vortex you create, which is just like a whirlwind with a center of perfect stillness. You only believe that you are moving when you are awake, as you think you move in sleep. From Neville Goddard's 1969 lecture, A Movement of Mind. Neville is telling you that everything is a dream. What you call reality, 3D, is also a dream, a wake dream. It feels more real because it feels longer. Neville says, I know that I have traveled in my dreams, and yet I know I have not physically left my room. For when I awoke in the morning, I was still on the bed upon which I fell asleep. So I ask you, is this waking state no more than a dream? Is there a dreamer in the depths of my being who looks upon this world as a dream, just as I who, having gone a little lower of the dream at night, awake to find I haven't left my bed at dawn? When we dream at night, what Neville calls the night dream, 
We dream of a world that is just as real as the world we feel is all around us right now. And what if, as mystics say, we are still dreaming? Neville has even said that when you can awake in your night dream, and you can control the dream, that is also a powerful way to manifest what you want in the wake dream. Some people believe in past lives. What if they are simply just past dreams? Neville goes on to say, The Bible has nothing to do with any morals as the pulpits teach. It makes no attempt to change the world as it is a schoolhouse. You don't turn a schoolhouse into a home. This is a school of educated darkness where we travel towards the light. To try to make this world a nice, sweet little place in which all are happy and have enough to eat and drink is fine. Were there no struggle, no effort would be made to awaken from the dream of life. Rather, the sleeper would fall deeper into sleep. So what Neville is saying, that all the suffering in the world has its place, we're not here to fix it all. In fact, when you come to know who you are within, and that you are naturally perfect, beyond a body and a mind, beyond all the dreams and nightmares, then the outside reflection, all those things, will take care of themselves. Oh, it's about 33 USD, 4,000 yen. Everything is taking place within you. Having fallen into a profound sleep, you are the Lord, Jesus Christ, dreaming the dream of life. And because there is only one being, everyone will awaken as Jesus, for everything else will vanish and leave Jesus only. And no one can say that Jesus is Lord except by the holy wind. When that wind possesses you, you awake within yourself. Only then will you know you are the Lord Jesus Christ. When you go to bed at night and you dream of all kinds of people, things, and places, when you seemingly wake up, all those things dissolve back into your consciousness. Neville is saying the same thing about this wake dream, our 3D reality. We will all dissolve back and wake as one. Now, let us go into the silence.